So in the last lecture, we had been discussed about armature reaction and how to overcome armature reaction, right? So armature reaction on the effect of overcome Pandaragaga, we kept two strong magnetic fields, right? Opposite magnetic fields with the help of compensating winding and another one is what? Interports, right? Now, let me show you the interports compensating winding. How many of them are armature coils? That is the rotor and armature conductors. We have a competitor segment to connect with the other one. That is the very first brushes. Again, we have the armature coils to connect with the interports. Common setting winding ini fix punya macam tu, right? So apa yang sebenarnya mana suruh orang bina armature winding ni ada kait sum, dari common setter winding ni nama kuriter ke kait sum, interpolar nama kuriter ke kait sum, mandi dia connected in series itu armature kait, right? Armature kait sabi ni ada rotor ni ada. Nah, ini sebenarnya ada macam pressure ni ada nama mandi kait sum ni ada tu boleh pun from rotor tu setter, so don't get confused, right? So that is all about armature reaction. Now we are going to look at the EMF equation. Now, we are discussing the dynamically induced EMF and we are in DC machine, right? So, DC machine, see, first of all, let me take the dynamically induced EMF. I have given this equation already at the moment we are starting the machines, right? So, dynamically induced EMF is general formula and that is BLB, right? Where B denotes the magnetic flux density, L is the length, that is axial length, right? Whereas B denotes the velocity offered by the machine, right? So, velocity, we call the simple of the speed, we call the velocity of the speed, right? In our machine, that is we are having rotor and we are going to rotate the rotor. So, the velocity of the speed, we define the speed of the distance by time, correct? Whereas, distance of the rotor is the rotor of the distance. Now, what is the rotor of the distance of the rotor? That is nothing but circumference of the rotor. That is pi into d. That is the circumference of my cylinder. Okay, fine. Now, the circumference is known. That is distance divided by speed equal to distance divided by time period. So, time is known as inversely proportional to frequency. Frequency is known as number of revolution per minute. Right? Now, the speed is known as speed. Distance by time, time can be written as what? Time will be inversely proportional to frequency. So, denominator time to be f1 to be f1 to be the number of revolution per minute. Right? So, that is how we are bringing the speed inside of the DC machine. Now, I know the velocity. Similarly, now I would like to know the flux per pole. Right? Now, flux is general format that is magnetic flux density into area. Right? Whereas, per pole, one of the four counter level of flux is generated in the area. I have to divide it by per pole. That is number of poles. Next, in the B in the other way, magnetic flux density, what about area, since we are discussing about, again, cylinder. In the cylinder, I would like to know the area. The area is the formula of 2 pi RL. Now, we are going to study it. So, 2 pi RL, 2 pi RL, 2 R, we are going to replace the diameter. That is, 2 pi RL, 2 R, I can keep D. That is, diameter of the area. Then, the diameter of the area. Rotor, right? Now, the diameter is subsequent, it can be written as pi dl divided by number of ports, right? From this, so pi is equal to b into pi dl by p, from here, we can calculate the magnetic flux density b, right? Now, b is equal to p into pi divided by pi dl, right? So, from this, find out the area of b. Find out the area. Now, we know the velocity and we also know the magnetic flux density. In the two values, you will subsequent, subsequent, you will get induced EMF per conductor. Right? One of the parallel paths are the EMF of the induced level of the mix and calculate it. Now, I would like to know the total number of conductors, right? That is the harvester level of the total number of conductors are the EMF of the induced level of the mix and calculate it. Actually, in the EMF of the R conductor, that is only meant for one conductor. Now, let's look at the R conductor design. I said, if we have two brushes, one brush is the current of the air where we are using closed ring. So, that is the closed ring. So, one brush is the current of the air where we are using closed ring. So, that is the closed ring. So, in the closed ring, the current of the air where we are using closed ring. Current through one path, right? That is I A by two. Equal or divided by two. Two parallel paths will flow over me. Suppose if you have four brushes, like now if you have one brush, you have one more brush, you have another brush. Only one current will pass through me. Now, what is going on? Two guys are current at the end of me. Like if either or either or armature current I A, either or armature current I A, right? Now, what I am going to say is, in the brushes only one current will pass I A by two, I A by two. Total current will pass I. Initially, we have two brushes, so we have to break the IA by 2 in the break-up. Suppose, if you have more than one pair of brushes, then we have to supply one pair of brushes and one armature current. If you have one pair of brushes, then we have to return to the current. 
அப்ப ஆர்மேச்சர் பிரஷ் குள்ள எட்ட ஆகிற கரண்ட் i/2 i/2 ன்னு வரும் அதுல இருந்து பிரஷ் கண்டக்டர் குள்ள எட்ட ஆகிற கரண்ட் வந்து i/4 அந்த மாதிரி டிவைட் ஆக ஆரம்பிச்சோம் ரைட் சோ எனிவே தி கன்க்ளூஷன் வந்து நாம என்ன சொல்ல வரோம் அப்படினா ஆர்மேச்சர் குள்ள எத்தனை நம்பர் ஆஃப் parallel path இருக்கோ அத்தனை parallel parallel lines வந்து கரண்ட் வந்து டிவைட் ஆகும் ஓகே தட் இஸ் அப்ப நோ एवरीथिंग இஸ் பெர்ஃபெக்ட் அப்ப நாம என்ன சொல்லிட்டு இருக்கோம் சின்ஸ் ஆல் தீஸ் லைன்ஸ் ஆர் கனெக்டட் இன் parallel ஆர்மேச்சர் கனெக்டர் குள்ள இருக்க எல்லாமே எப்படி இருக்கும் அப்படினா parallel ஆ தான் இருக்கும் அப்ப இன் கேஸ் ஆஃப் parallel induced emf வந்து எப்படி இருக்கும் இட் will be remain same we all know in parallel circuit the induced emf will be remain same right appa parallel circuit la induced emf vandu remain same a irukku appadina appa adha nam eppadi solla see for an example ipo armature ku la vandu naal line vandu parallel a irukku sonna appa naal line nam consider panna thevai illa oru line la induced la emf mattum nam consider panna podum adhe emf tha remaining irukka ella line la irukum since they all are connected in parallel clear okay appa nadu adha nam enna solla varadina ipo nama design panna dc machine ku total number of armature connectors koduthirundanga appadina see this is first line la some armature connectors irukum second line la some armature connectors irukum third line la armature connector fourth line la armature connector ipo for an example 1000 connectors irukka appadina each and every line will going to carry 250 250 250 250 connectors right appa nama என்ன பண்ண போறோம் அப்படினா EMF வந்து ஒரு லைன்ல மட்டும் தான் நான் கன்சிடர் பண்ண போறேன் I am not going to consider all parallel path I know the induced EMF in all the, all this parallel path are going to be equal அப்ப நாம என்ன பண்ணலாம் instead of considering the four parallel path I am going to consider only one parallel path அப்ப நாம என்ன பண்ணோம் total in the four parallel path I have 1000 connectors let me denote it by this now எனக்கு என்ன வேணும் அப்படினா ஒரு லைன் மட்டும் தான் வேணும் இந்த லைன்ல induced EMF மட்டும் தான் நாம கால்குலேட் பண்ணப் போறோம் அப்ப என்ன பண்றோம் you have to divide it by total number of Uh, parallel path right so parallel path la neenga divide pannina naal parallel path ku 1000 connectors thevai padudha appadina per parallel path ku i need only 250 connectors right so once and the 250 connectors nam find panniruvom appadina adukapra ipo enna pannalam appadina i know in one connector this is my induced emf right now in one parallel path for the total number of connector what is induced emf one parallel path la i have 250 connectors for an example i am considering 250 that is z by a connectors adala neenga oru connector oda emf mattum pannina appadina total emf vandu evlo generate aagudha appadina calculate pannina so that is going to be pi z np by 60 e very very important formula ini yetne padichirukinga right okay fine idhula nam enna panna porom appadina i am introducing one more term nam ellarkume theriyum the mechanically rotating speed of the dc machine can be written as 2 pi m by 60 that is mechanical rotation now synchronous motion induction ellathume idu paathom right so from this i can say from this right n by 60 over to pass it 2 pi n or pass it can be written as omega by 2 pi equal to n by 60 so what is the conclusion in my equation so i can substitute appo n by 60 ki badala we can keep omega by 2 pi correct na so appo in the equation la n by 60 ki badala omega by 2 pi substitute panina we are getting pi z p by a into omega by 2 pi now carefully observe this induced induced emf இங்க p ங்கிறது என்னதுடா நம்பர் ஆஃப் போல்ஸ் a ங்கிறது நம்பர் ஆஃப் parallel path right இங்க z ங்கிறது நம்பர் ஆஃப் ஆர்மேச்சர் கண்டக்டர்ஸ் we all know right and 2 pi it is a constant right we also know these things அப்ப from this i can say z p a 2 pi all are constant so that is called a machine constant i am replacing by a constant km clear into pi into omega இவங்க ரெண்டு பேரும் தான் வேரியபிள் குவாண்டிட்டி ஸ்பீட் வந்து வேரி ஆயிட்டே இருக்கும் फ्लக்ஸ் வந்து வேரி ஆயிட்டே இருக்கும் ரிமைனிங் இருக்கிறது எல்லாமே மெக்கானிக்கல் டர்ம்ஸ் ரைட் மெஷினை டிசைன் பண்ணும்போது நீங்க எவ்வளவு போல்ஸ் வந்து ஃபிக்ஸ் பண்ணீங்களோ தட் போல் வில் பி ஃபிக்ஸ்ட் இன்சைட் தி மெஷின் ரைட் எவ்வளவு ஆர்மேச்சர் கனெக்டர்ஸ் நம்ம கன்சிடர் பண்றோமோ சோ ஆர்மேச்சர் கனெக்டர் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஃபிக்ஸ்ட் நம்பர் ஆஃப் பேரலல் பாத் ஆல் ஆர் ஃபிக்ஸ்ட் சோ फ्रॉम திஸ் ஐ கேன் சே தி இன்டியூஸ் எம் ஆஃப் சிம்பிள் இன்டர்னல்ஸ் km 5 ஒமேகா வெரி 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 இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் equation so don't forget from this let me derive one more equation that is torque equation of the dc machine right idhukku nam enna panna porom na we are going to balance that is we are now under steady state the mechanical power generated by the dc machine inside that that should be equal to electrical power delivered by the generator or motor or the input power equal to output power right okay so mechanical power electrical power rendu per equal appadina mechanically power can be written as omega into t mechanical speed into torque developed by the motor or machine right whereas electrically the developed power inside the air gap can be written as induced voltage into armature current right so both are equal according to power balance equation appo idana idana enna panikkalam appadina i can substitute torque and equation appadi edukona e into i by omega appadi edukona right just now we found the emf equation e can be written as km into phi omega so km into phi omega into i by omega now omega omega getting cancel it is then torque equation can be written as km into phi ia very 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 important equation right dc machine la nama solve pandra problems la almost 95% of the questions are the other based on the problem 
these two equations. If you remember these two relations, you can crack all numerical questions almost, right? So rest of some few, uh, theoretical questions like efficiency the way, remaining the other questions may the random equations are frame one hour. So they, they are very, 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 very important. You should try to buy hard them. Clear? Don't try to forget, right? Next, uh, power flow equation. So now generator analysis, motor analysis, power flow being rather very, very easy, right? But generator now power flow of the low first uh, generator could not shaft on the mechanical power on the developer. Develop on the minimum draw again, we need to talk about losses. Now, let's say, if you have any other machine that you have, it might be a synchronous machine or induction machine, or you might talk about the motor, DC machine, right? If you have any other first, mechanical power on the development ring, that's why you have to separate the mechanical losses on the remote ring. Next, electrical power on the development ring, that's why you have to remove the electrical losses, right? So, you have to remove the electrical losses, like mechanical power, mechanical losses, remove the electrical power, that's why you have to remove the electrical losses, that's why you have to remove the electrical losses, so, what do you say? If you have a mechanical power, you can compare it with direct electrical power, right? So, the conclusion is, inside of the DC machine, you can use the DC generator. Then, in the shaft, you can use the mechanical power. You can use the mechanical power, and I am looking into the machine. If you have mechanical losses, generally we know, we have friction and vintage losses. These two losses are often called constant losses. One machine is loaded in the current mode. If you have a load, you can run it at the same time. The machine is in the constant speed, steady state. Always you will have this certain amount of friction and vintage loss inside the machine. Due to air and friction. Actually, the friction and vintage loss is something like this. See that. Here I have written, this is my friction, this is my vintage loss. The friction and vintage loss is something like this. Bearings are over. Right? Second is brush and bearing. That is the brush and cover data. That is the friction and vintage loss is over. This is the bearing and the brush and common data is not the friction and the bearing. That is the bearing and the friction. The bearing and the friction is directly proportional to the speed of the machine. That is the brush and the friction is not the directly proportional to the square length of the speed of the machine. Just to remember, anyway, this machine is being operated under steady state or constant speed. Another one or another one, there is no changes in the friction and the vintage loss. Again, vintage loss also directly proportional to square tensile of speed, right? But do remember, this is what we call it. Mechanical losses in the minus row of constant losses are in the room. Why, sir? There is no changes in the speed of my machine. If there is no changes in the speed, then there is no changes in the friction and the vintage loss. They are almost constant. You might change the load or you might run the machine without load. With the load, right? These losses are always fixed, right? Okay. Next term, up a general line, now input power developed in the mechanical power on the separate panier. Next, we are entering into the air gap power or developed power. Air gap to develop power. Other than we are going to go on, air gap to develop power of the air gap to develop power of the shipment of the current and the armature current. That is not done. Armature current is done. That is what we are going to go on, induce EMF. How can we use it? You can identify the developed power. Once you find the developed power, next uh, we have to separate all the losses, right? In the losses are okay, the electrical losses. Initially, I was talking about mechanical losses while the developed power is mechanical. Now, after, now I am developing electrical power. Once electrical power is developed, then we need to talk about electrical losses. Clear? Electrical power on the development of the company, electrical losses are going to be based on. Now, electrical losses are going to be based on the core losses. That is the armature of the first thing. Rotor is going to be based on the core. So, the armature of the core is going to be based on the core losses. So, the armature of the core is going to be based on the core losses. The armature of the core is going to be based on the core losses. Right? Now, laminate. So, we have to reduce the losses in the lamination. Obviously, on the rotor side, I have two important losses. One is distances loss and another one is eddy current loss. That's why we have to design the steel on the rotor. That's why we have to cut the stack. One box box is cut and cut and cut and cut and cut. Slats are going to be done. Slats are going to be done. Correct? So, we have to cut the armature connectors. We have to cut the armature copper loss. Of course, the armature copper loss. That's why we have to brush it. We have to brush it. Brush on armature and armature and connect on commodator and connect on commodator and brush on the other side फ्रिक्शन रुको, राइट आधे मरांडे टाइम में ना वो बिना करंट अंदर ना बियार वाले पास में बोलो बिना कामरे के लिए तो ब्रश लेता ना वो करंट अंदर शिफ्ट ना बोलो, सो आपने ब्रश लेते हैं ना वो बिना आगे इन ब्रश वी हाउ ये ब्रश कांटेक्ट लॉसेस, राइट अन्ना तो ब्रश कांटेक्ट लॉस अंदर ना बत्तियाँ क्ल 